Okay, Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Right, today we are going to learn new subtopic that is 7.2, Acid Based Titrations. Okay, we move to the learning outcome. Right, so what we are going to learn, first describe the titration process. And then distinguish between the end point and equivalent point. Sketch and interpret the variation of pH against titrate value for titrations between strong acid, strong base, strong acid, weak base, and weak acid, strong base. Identify suitable indicators for acid base titration. Alright, so first, uh, you have to know what is the definition of acid base titration. So, acid base titration can be defined as a solution of accurately known concentration is added gradually. To another solution of unknown concentration until the chemical reaction neutralized between the two solutions is complete. Right, so these are the apparatus used in acid base titration. So we have burette, okay, and then we have conical flask, uh, retort stand with burette clamp, and then we have a uh, solution. We fill in the burette with a titrant that is a known concentration with unknown volume. And then uh, in the conical flask, we place an lid uh, with unknown concentration and known volume. Before the titration starts, indicator is added into the conical flask. So this is how the titration process occurs. Right, so the first step, fill the burette with titrant. What is titrant? So titrant is a solution of a non-concentration which is added to another solution whose concentration has to be determined. Okay, for example, uh, in this experiment, the titrant here is sodium hydroxide solution. Okay, so in the burette, it can be an acid or it can be a base. Okay, depend on the experiment. Okay, so next, um, so pipette the analyte into the conical flask. Okay, so for example, in, in this experiment, the analyte used here is oxalic acid. Okay, so what is analyte? The analyte is the solution whose concentration has to be determined. Okay, so inside of the conical flask, it can be an acid and it can be also a base. It depends on the experiment. Alright, so before start the titration, an indicator is added. Okay, for example, like this in this experiment, so the indicator used here is phenolphthalein. Okay, alright, so what is indicator? Indicator is a substance that is generally added to the solution in the receiving vessel. So in this experiment, we use conical flask and which undergoes some sort of color change when reaction is over. So, for example, like phenolphthalein, right? Uh, since in in the conical flask here is is placed with the oxalic acid, the color of the phenolphthalein is colorless. Uh, in acidic medium, when uh reach the end point, so they will change in color from colorless to pink. Alright, so next you can start the titration process. Uh, by swirl the flask continuously until you get pale pink. So this is what we call endpoint. So what is endpoint? So endpoint is the point at which the indicator change color. So the original color of the solution is colorless. When it reach the endpoint, there will be a change in color and become pale pink. At the beginning before the endpoint, so the color of the solution is colorless. Which means the pH is lower than 7. Alright, so when the uh, color change to pale pink, so this is referred to the end point. Okay, and the pH is become 7. And then when we continue the titration process, so we will get a bright pink here. So this is referred to after end point. Where the pH here is greater than 7. In this experiment, okay, this is referred to the titration of strong acid and strong base okay so where the uh, end point here is a uh, pH 7 and the suitable indicator used here is phenolphthalein so what is the meaning by equivalent point so equivalent point is the point at which the amount of acid and base present exactly neutralize one another which means the number of mole of hydroxide ion and the number of hydro uh, H plus ions are equal okay for example for monoprotein acid which refer to the 
acid that release only one proton, such as HCl, hydrochloric acid. So the ratio of mole of H plus ion to hydroxide ion is one to one. So for example, HCl is zero point one mole. So for NaOH also zero point one mole. Okay, and then uh, second example here, sulfuric acid is one of the example of diprotic acid, uh, which refer to the acid that release two proton. Okay, so the ratio of uh, mole of H plus ion to hydroxide ion is one to two. Sulfuric acid is zero point one mole. Okay, for NaOH is zero point two mole. Okay, next, uh, choosing the suitable indicator. So, indicator, a uh, substance whose solution change color due to the changes in pH. These are called acid-based indicator. Okay, they are usually weak acid or bases, but their conjugate base or acid have different color due to the differences in their absorption spectra. Right, so did you know that the color of uh, high Hydrangea flowers, okay, is depend on the pH of the soil in which they are grown. Okay, in Malay, this flower is called bunga tiga bulan. Since this flower remain fresh for almost three months. Okay, how to choose a suitable indicator? So, choose an indicator which the end point pH range lies on the step part of the titration curve. So this choice ensures that the pH at the equivalent point will fall within the range over which indicator changes color. Okay, so what is the meaning by pH range? So pH range here is defined as the range over which the indicator changes from acid color to base colors. Right, so these are some uh, common Acid based indicator that we can use. Uh, there are pH range for different type of titration. Uh, for example, like titration of strong acid with strong base. To, so the pH range is between 3 to 11. Right, so there are many indicators that we can use here. Uh, so these are all the indicators that we can use, except thymol blue and methyl orange, and also alizarin yellow. Okay, because uh, methyl violet and thymol blue is not in the pH range for strong acid and strong base. Uh, usually, uh, the common indicator used for strong acid and strong base is referred to the phenolphthalein, and then bromothymol blue, methyl red, and methyl orange. Okay, next for the titration of weak acid with strong base, so the pH range is between seven to 11. Okay. Right. So the suitable indicator here, uh, used here is referred to the phenolphthalein and not included here is chrysorate. Okay. And then, uh, bromo thymol blue also can be used. Right. Next, for the titration strong acid, uh, with weak base. Uh, so the pH range is between 3 to 7. Okay. So the suitable indicator used here. So we have bromo phenol blue, methyl orange, Bromo crystal green and also matte red. Okay, so we move to example one. Okay, what is the color of solution when three drops of below indicators are added separately to water? Water, we know the pH here is equal to seven. Right, so the first indicator is phenolphthalein. So the pH range is between 8.2 to 10. Alright, so since the pH of water here is seven, so, the color of the indicator should be colorless. Okay, should be colorless. Since the pH of water is below the pH range of the phenolphthalein. Okay. Now, for the methyl orange, the pH range is 3.2 to 4.2. And color change from orange to yellow. According to the pH of water, the pH is 7. So, which means it's uh, greater than the pH range for methyl orange. So, the color change here, the solution, uh, color of the solution here should be yellow. Okay, because it's above the pH range of the methyl orange. Okay, alright, next for bromothymol 
Bromotimer blue, so pH ring is 6 to 7.6 and the color change is from yellow to blue. When I refer to the pH of water, that is 7. So, uh, it is in between the pH range of Bromotimer blue. Okay. Right, so therefore, the color change here, the colors of solution should be in between yellow and blue. So, mixture of yellow and blue, so you will get green color. Okay, for fennel red, uh, the pH of water here is in between uh, 6.8 to 8.4. Which means the color of the solution should be in between yellow and red. Which means mixture of yellow and red. So, therefore, you will get here orange color. Okay. Right, so second example, the pH range and the color change for three indicators X, Y, Z. As shown in the table below, right? So, X, Y, Z. Okay, what is the color of the solution when a few drops of the above indicator are added separately to a buffer, which pH is 6.52? So, so this is an example of objective question. So, for X, okay, uh, the pH range is uh, between 1.2 to 2.8 and the pH of buffer is 6.52. So, therefore, the pH of buffer is above the pH range of X. So, therefore, the color here should be yellow. So, there are three options. Either B, C or D. Okay, now we move to Z. Z is referred to the pH range 8.3 to 10.5. Alright, so we we'll refer to the pH here of buffer 6.52. This is um, below the pH range of Z. So, which means the color should be colorless. So, also there are three options here. Answer B, C or D. Okay, now we move to Y. So, A is rejected. Uh, this is totally wrong. A is totally wrong. So, either B, C or D. So, we move to Y. So, why the pH range is 6 uh, to 7.6, okay. And the buffer solution here is between, in between the pH range of Y. So, therefore, the color should be between yellow and blue, a mixture yellow and blue. So, suppose uh, we will get here, the answer here for D is rejected uh, because remain yellow. Uh, this is wrong. Okay, uh, as for the B, okay, so rejected A, rejected D because uh, color yellow here. So, I do B or C. Alright, so mixture of yellow plus blue should get green color. So, the answer is B. Okay, right, next, uh, this is the example of the titration curve. So, the titration curve that you have to know is only three. So, in uh, this refer to the titration of strong acid and strong base, weak acid and strong base, and strong acid with weak base. Right, so for the first example, is strong acid and strong base. Okay, let's say we have a 0 0.1 molar and AOH solution. Right, it's added uh, from a burette, okay, to 40 ml 0 0.1 molar HCl solution in a conical flask. So, here is the equation, right? So, because this is referred to the strong acid and strong base, so the, uh, at the equivalent point, the hydrolysis of strong acid and strong base salt, uh, which is a neutral salt. Uh, so, therefore, the pH is equal to 7. So, the end point pH range is between 3 to 11 and the suitable in indicator is, that we can use here is metal orange, phenolphthalein or bromothamol blue. Okay, so this is the data, the added and AOH. Uh, solution, right? So, uh, we can see the shape here is S shape, okay? And then it start with low uh, pH, okay? Right, so, and then the equivalent point here is 7, uh, since the salt form, which refer to the NaCl is a neutral salt, okay? Uh, there are four parts of in, in the titration curve that you should know. Point A here is start with low pH. 
that is 1 cause of the dissociation of strong acid that is HCl is 100% dissociate so because of that the concentration of H plus ion is very high and therefore it start with low pH okay when the titration start okay and move to point B Right, so uh, we can see that the pH will increase uh, and become 1.48. Why the pH is increased? Uh, this is because some of OH minus ion that came from the NaOH solution is begin to form. And therefore, the concentration of the H plus ion will decrease. Uh, and that's why the pH will increase to 1.48. Okay. Alright, next, uh, point C, which refer to the equivalent point. So, at this point, mole of hydroxyl ion is equivalent to the mole of H plus ion. And the pH here is equal to 7 for strong acid and strong base citation. For example, like phenolphthalein, so we'll get uh, the color at the equivalent point here is pale pink. At point D, so there will be excess of base. So therefore, the concentration of OH minus ion will increase. And the value of pOH will become low. And that's why the pH here, pH here will increase to 12.05. Okay. In terms of the indicator use, if we use metal red, so there will be change in color in the pH range for strong acid and strong base, between 4.2 to 6.3. Whereas for the phenolphthalein, it will change color between 8 to 10. Alright, so next, strong acid and weak base. So, for example, a 0.1 molar NH3 solution is added from a buret to 24 ml of 0.1 molar HCl solution in a conical flask. Okay, here is the example uh, equation. Okay. Okay, what will happen at the equivalent point? So, hydrolysis of strong acid with base salt, okay, which refer to the NH4Cl, H refer to the acidic salt, okay, with pH at lower than 7. And then the end point uh, pH uh, range is between 3 to 7. And the suitable indicator here, methyl orange, methyl red, bromophenol blue, and chlorophenol blue. Right, so given to you the data of pH value and also the volume of NH3 added. So first of all, where the Y exists, that is referred to the pH. And then X exists is referred to the volume of base added. So base added here is NH3. Okay, which refer to the weak base. Okay, next, uh, plot all the pH value. Okay, and then... Uh, Draw the curve and lastly, uh, you have to label the equivalent point that is refer to the volume of 25 5 point, with pH of 5.28. Okay, so just label pH is lower than 7. Okay, right, so uh, same goes to strong acid and weak base titration. There are four regions that you have to know. Okay, region A. Uh, start with lower pH, pH 1.0, because uh, it start with strong acid. And no, we, we know that strong acid is 100% dissociate. Therefore, the concentration of H plus ion is very high. And therefore, we will get lower pH. Okay, at point B, okay, some of the OH began to form. So therefore, the concentration of H plus ion will decrease. So, therefore, the pH will increase to 1.37. So, this region is what we call buffer region since it uh, consists of uh, weak and also it conjugate, uh, which refer to the salt. Uh, so, some of the salt will be formed here. Okay, next. Uh, point C is what we call equivalent point. So, at this point, the mole of uh, hydroxyl ion and H plus ion is equal. Okay, and the pH here is, refer, is equal to 5.28 below pH 7. Okay. okay, at point D, we continue our the titration and this will affect the concentration of OH minus ion. Uh, the base will increase. 
and therefore the pOH become lower and pH will increase uh, to 8.86 all right next uh, weak acid and strong base okay so uh, 0.1 molar NaOH solution is added to from a burette to 25 ml or 0.1 molar uh, ethanoic acid solution in a conical flask so ethanoic acid is a weak acid and sodium hydroxide here is strong base and it will form sodium ethanoate and water. So at the equivalent point, hydrolysis of weak acid, strong base salt, which refer to the sodium ethanoate is a basic salt with the pH greater than 7. So the end point pH range is between 7 to 11 and the suitable indicator that we can use here is phenolphthalein. Okay, first of all, you have to label Y as is pH. X as is, is volume and AOH added and also the unit in ML. Then plot all the data. Okay, and then draw the curve. And don't forget to label equivalent point that is pH greater than 7. So equivalent point here is a volume of base 25, pH 8.75. So there are four regions that you have to know in this uh, titration curve. So region A here, it start with a uh, higher pH that is referred to 2.88. So this is because weak acid that is referred to the ethanol acid uh, is partially dissociate. So therefore the concentration of H plus ion form is uh, lower than compared to the strong acid. So because of that, it start with high uh, pH that is 2.88. Okay, at point B. Some of the OH begin to form uh, because of the addition of an AOH solution. Okay, so therefore the concentration of H plus ion will decrease and the pH will increase to 4.58. So this region is what we call buffer region because it is consists of weak acid. Okay, and also formation of a conjugate base that is come from the salt. Uh, so the salt uh, start to form. Okay, at point C is referred to the equivalent point where the mole of hydroxide ion is equal to the mole of H plus ion, and the pH here is greater than seven, that is eight point seven five. Okay, as the titration continues at point D, there will be excess of base. Because of that, the concentration of H OH minus ion will increase, so the pOH value become low. And therefore, the pH will increase to 12.22. So, uh, this region is similar with the titration between strong acid and strong base. Okay, now we move to example 3. Sketch titration curve for the following acid-base titration. A here is referred to the HCl versus NaOH, which means this is uh, strong acid with strong base so the ph range uh, the ph of the salt form is equals to 7 okay and then we have strong acid okay with weak base ch3 and h2 here is weak base so the ph for the salt form here is less than 7 okay so for the c here is referred to the weak acid versus strong base so the pH of the salt form here is greater than 7. Okay, in each case, uh, the base is added to the acid in a conical flask. Your graph should have show pH on the y axis. So label pH on y axis and volume of base added on the x axis. First, you must label y uh, axis with pH. And X as is here is volume of NaOH added and with the correct unit that is an L. And then uh, draw the curve for the strong acid. And remember the pH range should be large difference here between 3 to 11. Okay. Alright. So next you have to label the equivalent point. Okay. Equivalent point for the. A uh, salt form between strong acid and strong base is uh, pH equal to 7. Okay, next for B, uh, between uh, strong acid 
and weak base. So, label Y exists and X exists. Okay, X exists here is refer to the volume of weak base added. Okay, okay, draw the curve. So, remember for this curve here, the pH range here is between 3 to 7. And you have to label here equivalent point. Right, next, uh, C, titration curve for weak acid and strong base. Okay, label Y exists and X exists. Uh, so, label here and AOH added. Okay, and then draw the curve. So, the pH curve here. Okay, so here is between 7 to 11. Okay, and then label. Uh, this is equivalent point. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you and Assalamualaikum.